Today, we will be making sweet caramel apple pie. Our ingredients are super easy. You may even already have this on hand. If not, less than five bucks, pick it up at Walmart. So we are using some eggs. We're, we will be separating it because we only need egg whites, a two pack of pie crust, two things of apple pie filling, some lemon juice, some caramel. We also need some cinnamon, nutmeg, sugar, and a bowl because you are going to mix your apple pie filling with all of your sweetness to put it into your pie casserole. The first step is to go ahead and preheat the oven to 425 degrees, which I'm about to do, and I will be right back. So we are back, and our oven is preheating currently. So Tanner is about to add our bottom pie crust into our casserole dish. Okay, you ready, Tanner? Yeah. Go ahead and set it in our dish and roll it out, okay? Roll it into the dish. It's okay. Roll it out into the dish. You will go ahead and roll it out and mommy will go back over it and fix it, okay? Oh, it's okay. We'll get it. Okay. Okay, so mommy helped Tanner get our pie crust. He kind of messed it up, but it's okay. It's all gonna go on our belly, right, Tanner? Right. Great job, and he's patting it all on the side. Now we will be opening our apple pie filling. We have two cans. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in a bowl and we'll be right back. So we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We have our apple pie fillings. They're open. Tanner is gonna go ahead and throw it into our bowl. Once Tanner gets that into our bowl, Nicholas is going to add our cinnamon and our nutmeg. Do you need a spoon to try to get it out? Mommy will hold the can. You get all that goodness out. Good job. Keep going. So, total side note, our cat kind of attacked Tanner, hence the reason he has a little scratch on his face. But he's totally okay. Didn't cry, didn't. Um, and I don't think it even fazed him. Get it all out and spoon it all up in there. Got some more. Is that all in that one? Just a little bit more. Okay. You want mommy to try to finish it? We want to try to eat one. No. Okay, so we're back. Tanner needed a little help. The apples were in that can pretty tight, weren't they, Tanner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now Nicholas is going to come scoot around his little brother and get us some nutmeg and some cinnamon. You need some help? Here, scoot right there. Can you slide over a little bit, Tanner? Thank you. Nicholas, this is nutmeg. You're gonna open it and you're gonna put very little, but we're gonna have enough to have the flavor, okay? You need some help? Yep. Okay. I did too. Here's the nutmeg. It's open. Sprinkle, sprinkle just a little in there. Nope. Good job, that's enough. Go ahead and throw that lid over there. Go ahead and throw some cinnamon up in there. You can put a little bit more cinnamon. We like ours little cinnamon. Good, okay. Let's go ahead and put the lid on it. And your last step that I want you to do is I want you to open the sugar and I want you to sprinkle some sugar in there. Can you open the sugar? Is it hard? Open it, Here, I'll help you. <gasps> There we go. Sprinkle okay. some sugar in there. Okay. Go ahead and close our sugar. Okay. 
And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add a drop of lemon juice and some caramel. Mom's gonna go ahead and do that, okay? okay. So I'll be right drop back. Drop of lemon juice. And I'm gonna go in with my caramel. And we're almost towards the bottom, so I'm just gonna open mine. Caramel goodness into the bowl. Sorry guys, my son's filming me doing this, so camera may be all over the place. Okay, show the bowl again. Show the bowl. Good. So now we're gonna stir all of it together. You okay, so the kids are about to spoon in our apples into our pie crust. Don't make a mess. Do you need mommy to help by lifting the bowl up for you guys? No. Maybe a little faster. Inside the apple. I don't want the apple. Do one more yet? Okay, get some. Get some apples. Hold this. It's almost made up. It's okay. You gotta get all those apples into that pie crust. Here, mom's gonna come in and tip the bowl a little bit. Now, show it up in there. Shove it up. Yeah, shove it up in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is that all? No. Ew. So okay, now <laughs> we're all done. Put your put your spoon. Do you want to test taste some? Okay. Okay, test taste. Tell me if it's good. <laughs> oh, is it good? Okay. Okay, so my husband's gonna come in and separate our egg white. Now this is gonna be used to brush the top of our apple pie once me and the kids cut it. Total sad note, ever since chemo, I can't really deal with eggs, so he normally tries to help me and deal with the eggs. We only need a little bit. We don't need a ton. Thank you. Okay, so now we are going to get our little topping for our pie crust. All it is is you roll out your pie crust just like this. And it's easier if you let it set um, and go ahead and thaw a little bit um, instead of just like rolling it out. I always let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes just because it's way easier to do. So Nicholas is going to cut thin sliced lines. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you. You're gonna cut it down. Cut a straight line down, okay? Good job. Now keep going all the way. Okay. We will be right back once he gets all of these lines cut for us, okay? Okay, fast forward. He has them all cut into lines. So now we're going to go ahead and get our apple pie, and we're going to go ahead and get one at a time, and we're going to lay it across the pie. You can know kind of like on the box how it had like little X's and stuff on the box. Kind of like at Miss Pumpkin's. Let's use a big one um, first. Miss Pumpkins is just a local one bakery, um, and they have amazing okay. Moravian Put it across the pie um, for me. chicken pot pies. If you have never been there, it's a total Good. must. We'll push um, it in it's whenever on Renolda, you get all which is that. not far from where we live. Keep going. Ooh. I'll be back once he gets all of this on the pie and show you guys. So we're back. And he has finished his pie. Look how good it looks. Thumbs up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push it in like it would be a pie, okay? Let's go around and let's just go push it in. See how mommy's getting it like a pie? So we're all together. We're gonna go around and push it in like a pie. Say so we'll be right back. I did a wow.
Nicholas has our pie all done. It looks so good. You did good with your pie. Are you excited to eat it? Yep. Yeah. Now we're going to go in with our egg whites and we are going to brush just the top of our pie crust. So I'm going to show you what to do, Nicholas. You're going to set it in this egg whites like this. Let's scoot a little closer. Okay. Then we're going to brush the top. Do you see how that has that little glaze uh -huh. on it? I want you to go through and do all the top like that. Be really careful because that's the egg white and it will make a mess. Oops, be really careful. Get some more egg white. Oops, it's okay. You think that's enough? No. <laughs> okay, that's we'll finish. A little bit more, well, let's do some more right on these, okay? It doesn't look like there's a lot of it there. Okay. Good job. Now put that little brush in there. Now we're a little extra, so we're going to top it with some sugar and some cinnamon. Or not cinnamon, but some sugar and some caramel. Sorry, guys. We're going to top it with sugar and caramel drizzle. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that on there, and I will be right back. Okay, so my husband come and got the camera for me. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle... Some caramel over the top. Okay. Then we're going to go in with our sugar. We just have it on the low setting. And sprinkle some sugar over the top. And now we're going to go ahead and throw this bad boy in the oven on 425 degrees for about 50 to 60 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks. Just took this bad boy out of the oven and look how amazing it looks. Homemade apple caramel pie made by mom and her two littles. 